So Shannon, firstly, how did you enjoy the card last week in Bangkok? So good. I never been in in Impact Arena as an audience before. So this is my first time, and I I was sitting as a how to say like a a super VIP seat, right? So like that's super cool. That's super cool. Uh, I can see all the action. I can see all the all the co how condiment work. I can see all how 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 the how all the stuff working. Like that's incredible. Like I thought. Because I, I, I will always be on on the, on the stage or maybe on in the ring. I never know like how everything is running. Like wow, everything's amazing. Not just the competition, everything. <laughs> yes, it is impressive being that close. Like I say, not just the fighting, but everything that's going on around. Like you say, you're often at the Impact Arena, you're normally competing, but you're competing this week instead. How do you enjoy competing away from Thailand? What are the main differences? Good points, bad points. Um, the good part in Thailand is when I'm competing in Thailand, I can I can do much more thing when I when I am at my hometown. I can do more thing. I can go back and forth from the hotel, from the stadium, back to my place. But uh, when I fighting, uh, when I'm competing abroad, I have to get everything done and all focused to be to when I when I when I fly uh, to to the place like when I fly here, right? So the focus is different. Uh, it's more shoe there, more focus here, uh, but. It's, it's it's all yeah. When when the event they come, it's all the same. But when to competing out, outside is everything just different. You can see more more things. It's like traveling. You see different culture, different thing. And when you're competing in the in the place that um, the all the environment like more empower you to to be ready for the for the competition. That's cool. Like Singapore, everyone love love the hills, all the food here, everything. You may got better food, but I mean at about the fla flavor, but. Here's healthy food, good place, and good environment. Yeah. Obviously, you've come in on late notice uh, for Lapacus, who was supposed to fight Amir Khan. How did this bout come about? Um, at first, I was uh, a bit worried, but when I, I, I got the offer, I, at that time I, I was train, I was at my uprising in my training for about two weeks. So I, I took I took the, the offer for about uh, three weeks notice. So I feel like it's gonna be five weeks and. Uh, Yuri, he 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 got the the the, sh the short notice for opening change anyway, and the time for the preparation for us is kind of familiar, uh, it's like a similar. And compared to my last time, I, I got my opening change uh, in the last minute too, so no worry. <laughs> and I feel like I can postpone this because it was a serious one for me, but. I just don't want to just lay back at home, you know. I just want to test my skill on the, when I'm on the uprise of my training. I want to, I want to see that, uh, what, what, what have I achieved, and um, it can be another a milestone for for to, to, for me to to see on my progress. What are your thoughts on him as an opponent? He's got a pretty crazy record. I think it's 12 wins all via first round stoppage. Although this is his one championship debut, have you had a chance to see much of his previous fights? Yeah, I have I have watched from some of his fights. From the record, I can I can tell that that's impressive. But by his opponent's record, I it's it's, uh, it's, it's too 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 thing in my mind too. Because uh, if if I if I telling from his opponent's record, some of his opponents is not not on it's not like a very high level. Some of guy like a twelve and thirteen. Some of a two and zero. But I just uh, I just went to look in into the. The fight, like the, in the actual fight, like he he fought somebody that that really was skillful, I, I, and he and he really can 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 took the opportunity, he can catch out the opportunity that happened in all his fights. So, yeah, I I, I, I don't look, I'm not gonna let the, the record fool me because I think that he's he's a he's a strong he's he's unorthodox and he's a strong grappler and he and for sure he he's from Team Petrosian, he got the good. Uh, Striking training partner, good uh, striker, training partner, but he's he's looked more like a good judo guy. So, no worry for me. I'm I'm not a good judo guy, but I'm a, a covert judo fighter anyway. I can get away from his judo throw. <laughs> You're coming off two tough fights. What did you learn in them bouts? Um, my 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 last two fights, the one with Yaoki was very tough. There, no, no no doubt. Yeah, but 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 from that from that fight, I learned a lot more. I learned that uh, how the the top fighters in the world is look look like, and then I I got another f tough fight with a Sokoku, the Mongolian fighter. He's super tough. He's super good. Um, 
what every warrior I, I always worry about some 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 tough fighter walking forward on you but like so goku he's he's a tough he's a tough fighter he's he always walking forward on his opponent but on me he didn't do that so i what i really learned is um if when i found that one of my biggest weak point if i i got like a mm, I, I, I got like a taken down by some, somebody like can outpower me like Shinyaoki. Okay, that's something I need to learn more. But some with somebody that uh, I feel that I can handle. But when he's but they when they change the game plan like Rasu or Sokoku, and and then when I'm on the fly and I couldn't change the plan in the air. That's 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 is my big biggest problem when my mind go one way and I couldn't change it. So what I really learned is. I'm not trying. Not, I'm not trying to change it, but I try to work to to get more options in the fight. So, uh, from my last fight, I, I got I got a few options. When 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 the plan changed, I couldn't change my plan. Now, I I try to gain more options to 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 play in this one. I bet after Shinya's form since he fought you, you don't feel so bad losing him. I mean, he's just kind of ran through everyone. Um, lastly, do you have a prediction for Friday night? Do you have a prediction for Friday night? For for your fight. For your fight. This this is the hardest part because uh, for the prediction, I always my prediction. Oh, I always wish for the first round KO for me. You know, like <laughs> that's the base. But uh, what? Yeah, actually, what I, what I told me for one, I, my prediction maybe KO or TKO within two rounds. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you.